What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube family? All right, YouTube. The five react to Democrats abandoning Biden's sinking ship. <laughs> now, I I read it today, and I saved it until he got off work. So, man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. It was a sinking ship when the man sat in the seat. I don't know if you're about to say. I haven't seen this video. It was a sinking Neither. ship when the man <laughs> sat in his seat, man. He's a puppet, and I, I'm, I'm gonna stand on that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead on. I'm and not, I ain't saying I ain't praying for him, but he's a puppet. We, we he praying do for everything, him. you know. <laughs> I am praying for him, but he's a puppet, and I gotta keep it real, man. Whatever they say, he do. It kind of, kind of like um, you ever seen Coming to America, and the part where um, he said hop on one leg and bark like a dog, and she oh oh. And she kept on doing it all the way, all the way out until the until the second, second, yeah, coming to America. She was still barking, and oh the guy God. was upset about it. Man, you did this to my sister, man. With the sister, right? Sister and the daughter. Yeah, they were thirty eight with her, man. She's still barking, man. That's and what I'm saying is, is that you have to, as a president, you have to make decisions, man. That's best for the United States of America, and he's not making good decisions, mm -hmm. man. He's making decisions. On what the Democrat Party wants him to do, and that's sad. You know what I'm saying? And but he's but he's forgetting that's the my people opinion. that voted for him, and even I'm gonna include us because I I, I melt I melt in a ballot. I ain't vote nothing. You voted vote for him, man. You part of that off <laughs> the T <-set. laughs> You vote for whoever you want to vote for, man. But, uh, Never again. Uh, oh, he won't. I don't think he gonna. Uh, well, gonna no, it's Democrat him. period. I just can't because at the same time, I feel that now, and I'm and I'm so thankful that we got into doing YouTube's too because, man, just the you know reading or, or listening to some of these all these videos, it's just like. They they didn't explain it that way. It was explained this way. So again, you have the twisting of the words coming. But now it's like wow, when you really, really, really get into listening to you for yourself and also getting the other side of the story, that that makes a big difference. But right now, Democrats are abandoning him. But at the same time, he was doing what the Democrats wanted him to do. Not the American people that voted for him. I just wanted my student loans forgiven. And I still got 12 payments left. Hey. But that's my fault. So. Hey. I'm close, but I'm still pissed off. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. Okay. <laughs> Democrats now forced to admit what most Americans see plain as day. President Biden is a total disaster. Multiple media reports have liberals bashing the commander-in-chief as weak and ineffective, complaining that Joe is not moving fast enough to respond to multiple crises rocking his administration. One liberal lawmaker telling CNN that the Biden administration is, quote, rudderless, aimless, and hopeless. Another saying, quote, it's almost like he's hiding. He has the bully pulpit, and he's either hiding behind it or under it. I don't know where he is. <laughs> and the Democratic strategist riffing into Biden's team, quote, it's infuriating. Our house is on fire, and it seems like they're doing nothing to put the fire out. They're just watching it with the rest of us. And the usually sympathetic media also bashing Biden. There is this sense that things are kind of out of control and he's not in command. We need Joe Biden to be present and to be a leader that meets this moment. I mean, do something, I think is the point that people are saying. We're not giving folk anything to be excited about and we don't have that fierce urgency of now. And, you know, things are true. No, you're not giving nobody anything to be excited about. You can see in the dog on gas prices. And the grocery store. He's not store. doing anything. Every every day I wake up, the gas prices go up by one cent. And you get if diesel. If not one cent, 20 cents. He diesel on Every gas. time I wake up, man, it doesn't surprise me. I seen a sign. I think I seen something on TikTok where 
um, the gas prices went up so much they had like an explosion of the um, sign on pilot where it just it was it went up so much that it overheated the dog on um, numerals on the thing and it just blew up. So at the end of the day, no, he yeah he is hiding. And anytime a ship burn up, what they do they jump off they jump off the ship right? Yeah, the it's called abandoned that. ship. But it said rudderless, so rudders are on ships. It's rudder it's rudderless, <laughs> so obviously he not on the ship. He not on the ship. I mean, I don't know who's driving the boat, but he oh, ain't on it. Oh, man. Yeah, hey, hey, the gas prices are driving the, the boat. Diesel. He get <laughs> diesel in a dually. $200. I think it's two. I haven't filled it up yet, but I believe it's like almost $200. And I'm at 100 with gas. You know, her Bima is like um, $100. 101. Yeah. 101 to fill up. Ridiculous, man. 101. Can, now, so can you imagine? Back in the days... Um, um, back in the days, um, days I used to see gas, people pump gas, like $3 worth of gas. This was this was a long time ago when it was like $2 a gallon, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, dang, you know, where they gonna go at? You know, so you got those same people that's struggling, that's putting like $5 in there, man. $6. And that's pretty much just the fumes. That's the crank. You know, I heard something a guy said, he said, um, when you go pump gas, remember you used to smell the fumes? You don't smell fumes no more. Fumes are not being wasted. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you pump five hours in your gas tank, you just pump fumes in there. The fumes just start to begin to smell with $5. <laughs> so it is hard out here for people, man. They're struggling. They're like going through money. And people. they're making up excuses. <laughs> huh? I thought you were about to say, hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's hard, man. Even for a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Man. I, I had to cancel my little um, field trip with the grandkids to the zoo. I was like, well, we can do the zoo three three days a week. No, we going around the corner to the, to the subdivision pool four days a week. We go do the zoo one day a week. And look at that. Yeah, but let, let's get back into it, man. This is very interesting, man. Really a disaster when Hollywood celebrities jump ship. Actress Deborah Messing reportedly fed up about President Biden's lack of urgency and the administration being unprepared. I'll be honest with you, I don't care about these actions being fed up. What about the Americans? What about the American yeah, come people? Come on, man. Every time so I turn what? around, why? So actress being a Who oh, cares? The actress She's very upset. upset. Oh, this actor is very upset. I don't that actor is really very upset. They're not going to back Trump. Well, well the actor's not even driving themselves. They're not, no, you. they're not driving themselves. Yeah, somebody else driving themselves. And they're not going to the grocery store for themselves. That, They're not taking to, some of them not taking care of their own uh, kids. I had to pause and kids. right there and say that. I'm sorry, man. But no, you're Nobody right. Care about the actor, you're right. That's true. Saying they, you know, I care about the actor, but I don't care about their opinion on how they feel about gas no. prices. It really, if you feel that bad, then put some money together and then lower the gas prices. Give, give some gift cards. Hey, how about y'all just buy the gas stations and give them gas to us free? They probably would drop the prices up, baby. They, they, it's all money. Oh, my bad. Sorry. No, don't buy the gas stations. Don't be mad. Despite weeks of warning on the reversal of Roe versus Wade, she also reportedly claimed credit for getting Joe Biden elected. I guess we better do a check on whether or not Deborah Messing actually got <laughs> Joe Biden elected. But Jesse, I'll start with you. Well, with people who uh, voted for him, they got him elected. We need him to be Just president see. and to be the leader. Is Joe Biden capable of that? No, he never was. And I think big tech and China were like, actually, no, we we got Joe Biden elected. Uh, just his schedule this week is a perfect example. It's largely ceremonial. On Monday, he has a barbecue for July 4th. On Tuesday, he hangs some medals around some hero's neck. Wednesday, he actually flew to a swing state and gave a speech on what? About the American rescue plan he passed last year about COVID. And tomorrow, he is going to Langley to celebrate 75 years at the CIA. And then Friday, he just flies to Delaware for another three-day weekend. If you're going to give a speech, how about give it about inflation? How about give it about gas prices? Those are the most important issues of the day. Or your base cares about abortion and guns. He doesn't do any of that at all. They want him to perform. The presidency is a performance. If the Supreme Court comes down with a major abortion decision, you cannot give a speech, fly to Delaware, and then take the whole next week and go over to Europe. You can't do that. The left wants to see him. I said he's not on the boat of the ship. Obviously, he not. <laughs> Bidding mad, hands in the air, out on the streets, raising hell. 
And he just doesn't have that in him. They want him attacking the Supreme Court. He doesn't want to do that. He can't attack Republicans. They're not even in power. They tried the whole ultra MAGA thing, but it was corny and vague, and now they just put it to bed. So right now, they're really saying, what is your plan of action after Roe? And he didn't have one, but they didn't have one either. Putting abortion clinics in national parks, that's not a real plan. Mm -hmm. They have to go to the states, and that's where the action is. But under Obama, they lost like every single state house in the country. So it's going to take a long time and a lot of hard work and groundwork to get back to where they need to be. Sandra, you're the economist at this table. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, with people concerned about, as Jesse said, inflation and the economy, Corinne St. Pierre said yesterday, uh, uh, Jean Pierre, sorry, said yesterday, uh, in talking about the economy, she said business investment. Do we have it? Do we have the sound? Oh, go ahead. We've averaged more than uh, 400,000 jobs every month for the past, uh, over the last, I should say, over the last month, three months. Uh, we've held steady that 3.6 of unemployment rate. Uh, consumer spending remains strong and above pre-pandemic trends. Business investment, investment remains strong and household uh, balance sheets remain strong. The thing that jumped out at me, Sandra, when she says household balance sheets remain strong, if that was the case, you wouldn't have a Gallup poll telling you that 23% of the American people have lost confidence in the presidency. Monmouth just 10... They're maybe going by their household. Okay, because I don't think about yeah, my household. You know, so, you know, um, I mean, they're going by their household. Oh, you know, um, okay. Of course, their household is doing good. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, maybe they have a gas pump, gas station in the White House. Do. I don't know, you know. They pull, you know, pull up on the ground, and they got a gas pump down there. Ain't showing nobody nothing was going on. He's like, I'm glad we get our gas two dollars fifty cent. You know, at the White House. <laughs> I don't know. I'm over here just thinking about my budget, and I'm oh, like, okay, man. I got my last teacher paycheck. Uh, what two weeks ago? Every now and then, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They, they bring out it. fire extinguishers. That's what I. That's how I look at her. She's a fire extinguisher. She's, she's mm -hmm. putting out the fire. It's like the third. And it's just a temporary oh. solution. Okay, let y'all get you guys know everything is going good, and it, it, you're gonna be okay. You know, um, gas prices uh, at six dollars a gallon, but you're gonna be all right. Your, you your, your home, your home. But hey, it's only six dollars, but you're yeah, you can't afford eggs. Of course, if you're living in I think, New York where you got a lot of subways, they're not going to stand. You're not really driving a car, but you come to Florida, it, pretty much everything is further away where you, you're burning almost the full tank of gas by the end of the week. It's hard to, if somebody calls you and say, hey, can you take me down the street? You're like, man, it's going to cost $20 right now. You pretty much... Um, Count how many miles your your car burns a gallon, and you charge them that. Then you charge them because of your time. Then because of you in Florida, the heat itself, man, is a killer. So you're like, man, I got the heat, I got the the, the gas, and I got my time. time. So I gotta charge you two hundred dollars just to go down the street to go to the convenience store. You know, I told my I told my daughter when I took her to work. I mm -hmm. told I told her I gotta charge her gas money. And and I'm gonna be honest, hold your cup up. She has a big cup. Because she may think, I mean, she may be thinking this is the last time she ever drank floors of water. I don't understand why the cup's so big, but I guess she figured that this may be the last time she drank some fluids. You know, because they may cut the water off. You know, to so save, expensive. To save on gas. But I, <laughs> <laughs> let me get back to this. <laughs> believe that the country is heading in the right direction. Washington Post wants a shift, a, a vibe shift change from this presidency. To Jesse's point, uh, Governor Pritzker in Illinois said it. We want, we want this president to get loud. We want this president to fight. They want to see anger, angst, urgency. To the point on the economy, if there was a more telling... What Democrat president fights? Just be, let's be honest about it. They all uh, mellow. Right? The Republicans are loud. They are very loud. I, I was always told a squeaky wheel gets all the grease. grease. Squeak! This man having squeaked. The, Biden! The, he, squeak! He ain't gonna squeak. He might not squeak. They be in there, boy, I wish you would squeak. But okay, is it, is it, a, okay, is it that he doesn't want to come off to tell, hey, the Republicans, Y'all, the, 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 the plan that you guys gave in such and such session makes sense. 
Let's use that. Man, this man saying, hey, like, just do my not? turn. Do my turn, man, and get out of here, man. I'm but about how to, many if, families like, are going to be? I promise the ones that jumped off the ship, you're like, man, I wish I could jump with you. I said, but I got to stay in this seat because I was like a fool if I jump off the seat. I'm but the how ship. many families going to have to suffer? A lot. A lot. A lot. Do a lot. These. A lot. That's not fair. School's about to come back up, and they are putting school supplies But the thing, out. in the midst of your They're putting listen, school supplies out. In the midst of your suffering, your learning, okay, next, the next term, we have to vote. Next time we have to vote for a president, do your research. Do your research. So you're not just voting. So this is a learning stage. The gas prices are learning. It's a very valuable learning stage, but it is a learning stage. Yeah. And I, maybe we do need this. So if in 2020, cars were parked and we had all this gas in reserves and then all of a sudden you stopped gas production because we had too much gas, obviously we don't have enough gas if it's at 5 and $6 a gallon. Man, when they ran out of baby formula, oh yeah, that, that, that was, uh, I knew that just, something that, was that, wrong. That was crazy. That, right, that was just crazy. How we got to look for baby milk for people, and we don't even have babies. When they ran out of baby formula, I was like, wow. Then they sent so much over to another country, and they had to bring it back, some of it back. I don't know if that's true or not. I was told that's what, that. That's what that, that hey, hey, if it's true, let me know in the comments. If it's not, you know, let me know. But other than that, but they had they, to get some milk back. Like, like, you had to get milk back here fast. But this is the thing. In Canada, they never ran out of milk. <laughs> right. Canada, like, never ran out of milk. We were oh, like on Facebook. A lot of people were saying, "Hey, your your son or your daughter looking for milk? Um, go to um, Amazon and then change the thing to can." Like going through all the steps on and TikToks. Go through these steps so that you can get baby milk. It's gonna come from Canada. Yeah, some people making baby milk, uh, and then they were sold out to make baby milk. And some babies die because they're not drinking the right milk or babies getting sick. Because, but again, how does the greatest country run out of baby milk? Just like they jumping off the ship. They run off the ship, right? Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Point of this presidency. The president sees that the number one concern of the American people is inflation and high gas prices. What does he do? He goes out and says, I know that that is the priority. It's the priority for us. We're doing everything we can to bring down those yeah. prices. What does he do? He taps the SPR, oh. which is the wrong oh. move. That's not how you address the problem, first of all, and it has not brought down gas prices. And then what happens? Reuters reports starting yesterday the oil that is coming out of the emergency reserves in this country is going where? Not into the gas tanks of the American people. It's going to China. China. It's outrageous. And the wow. White House has asked about it, and Corrine Jean-Pierre doesn't even know about it. Right. At least she wow. says she doesn't. Well, I believe she Ooh. doesn't. Uh, all right. <laughs> Jessica, Very generous. Do, do I need to put a question to you? Can he get any lower in terms of the numbers, or has he hit the rock bottom? Technically, he can go lower. I, I don't think he will. It's 36% or about there right now. I think that's probably where he'll hover. Two things that I wanted to speak about. One, I think that this frustration about having six weeks to be prepared for this is so important to understanding the psyche of liberals right now, but also a lot of moderate Republicans who would have preferred that we had some national protections. And we all saw the polling from earlier this week that, you know, well over 60 percent were in favor of a 15 week ban. And when you look at the fact that they're in some states where you have, you know, the, the yeah. 10 year old girl from Ohio who was raped and because she was six weeks and three days pregnant, her parents had to take her to the bastion of freedom that is Indiana <laughs> to get an abortion. Right. You can understand why people are saying, why did we not have a plan to combat the chaos? Because why didn't they? Uh, I don't know. I don't work for the administration. But you did <laughs> have you. six weeks. No, I, I definitely don't. Wow. Um, don't start that rumor. Um, <laughs> six weeks is a lot of time to put... Okay, here's how to form an LLC I understand online for why the parents did that, but okay. These yeah. are a lot of... Okay. In place plans to we focus, we focus so much on when, when, a, when a person is raped, and it's sad that it was a ten year old that was raped and ended up getting pregnant and then had to go get that. What about this? When this happened? Um, it was I, I read two different articles. One was in another country, and then this one, particular one, was here. 
Um, she got raped, so they took her for They took her to another, country, another state, state. Okay. to have an abortion. But my thing is this. Okay, first of all, the person who raped the little girl, what is happening to that individual? So we know because, that we're, 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 because we're, we're so focused on the abortion piece, how... Okay, how is this young girl going to be reassured that this man won't ever do this to somebody else oh, again he or he for won't. herself? He but again, that is never mentioned. He won't. But, it, but it's never mentioned. With you. When you go to jail for any kind of um, child crime, oh, you, you, they're going to get you in jail. They're going to, they they, they put it down. But share, but share that information because, again, it's always a detail that's, that, that's, that's not added in there. I wish she would have, uh, I mean, hey, the parents did what they wanted to do for the child. And everything. Uh, my, I mean, my sister got I guess, pregnant at I guess 13. They're, they're, she, they're, they're not trying to make it about the guy, so they're just talking about what the parents had to do for the child and that she was raped. So they're leaving him out because they didn't want to make it about him. But then again, it's like it's still it's going back to the abortion um, stuff where that abortion is the only option. Yeah, when they, they, they see it as rape, and they feel sick. like it's the only option. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like people cringe, okay. She done been raped, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's right for doing that, no. having the abortion. I mean, it's always another way, you know what I'm saying? You can do, you know, adoption. And then the person is saying, this is this rapist is, you know, put a seed in her, and this seed is going to be just like him. But you can always give the baby up for yeah, adoption. adoption. But the, the thing about but it, again, this, I know she's about it, this is what they're saying. Okay, teen. she has his baby. Um, This is a rapist baby. He going to have his ways. You know, people actually go that far in detail. And why should she have to suffer yeah. um, having a baby at 10 years old yeah, when it's not her fault? You know what I'm saying? So they're looking at all you can, that. You can, yeah, we can look at all that. But am I saying but, it's right to do the uh, the abortion? No, I'm, that's not right. No. But that's what they're looking but that's at. What they're looking you know, at. and you know, and as a parent, you know, I know. I the want the per- like, I, w- I would want the person prosecuted. Um, oh, they, they, this is the problem. I, this will be my problem. They about to, they, they, they need, they, he better be locked up because if he's still out, I'm gonna be, look, I will be looking for him. But it was my child. I'll just be honest. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's always the focus that's just going to the abortion, and you don't think about this, this young child's well being, getting her the support that well, she, she needs. Well, she need counseling. You know, getting her the support that, that, that she needed instead of just jumping ten, straight to. Oh, what I haven't heard about this. I haven't heard about this. Well, I think it was ten I, years old. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, let's, let's get back to it. Lean on state legislatures and governors to ensure that people are going to be protected, that you can still order your abortion pills online, that you can cross state lines, etc. But there's an interesting phenomenon going on with the polling. So Democrats now are running well ahead of Joe Biden. So if you look at 538 right now, there have been 10 polls that have come out in a post-Roe world, and the Democrats are up in the congressional ballot in all of them. So we've seen a three to four point swing in Democrats' favor. And I think that that's really interesting and a reflection of what's going on in this pushback against what people rightly feel feel are extremist, extremist Republican policies. So I wonder how much campaigning Joe Biden is going to end up doing for the midterms. If someone like Raphael Warnock is up 10 on Herschel Walker in Georgia, maybe people will just go without him. John Fetterman in Pennsylvania. Well, well, that's yet to be seen. But Greg, how do you respond to that? Uh, I don't. Okay. That's not fair. You make me respond to you all the time. I have a really good joke about okay. Yogi Bear. No. All right. So what you're, what you're seeing right now, uh, I think what we're looking at is a large hole left vacant by the January 6th hearings. So now you see why the January 6th hearings were so desperately employed and so desperately necessary for the Democrats, right? Because if you once you remove it, what you have is a gaping lack of leadership, a gaping lack, lack of optimism, common sense, wisdom. We have a giant hole where mm. leadership should be. Wow. That is why, so now when you when you look at the January 6th cause, hearings, because it's coming back, you'll now know why it's there. Because when you take it away, this is what you get. You get this, this grim testimony about the nature of this White House. So the media has chose to amplify the hearings the same way they de-amplified the Hunter Biden laptop story before an election. This is what's happening with this. It's before an election. It was before an election then. This is why no one should believe or trust anything that's coming from the same cabal that did the Hunter Biden laptop and also did this hearing. It's the same thing. That doesn't mean that the Republicans are just going to skate through this. What bothers me is I don't like the I don't like the dancing on the grave preliminary kind of celebration. They, they, they've never, there's never been a better time for the Republicans. You've got the Dem, Democrats are in a woke paralysis. 
right? The loudest, most unhinged voices control their party, and they've relinquished any concern for parents to the Republicans. The Republican Party is now the parents' party. I think we mentioned that early on during those uh, school board hearings when they said this was a great opportunity, and that is what has happened. But you can't just cluck about it. You got to be persuasive to the voters. You got to take it to them, and you got to have practical solutions about the economy and practical solutions, especially about crime, because we haven't spoken enough about that, the crime that is going on all over. It's not enough to say, aha, we actually have to have some read. And when I mean us, I mean normal, common sense, non woke people. What? And I, I, I include Democrats in that. I think that this is a time for modern Democrats to come mm-hmm. back and, and kind we of like uh, rediscovery, rediscover the joys of common sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Water well, Democrats, Grace, are you out yeah, there? Yep, yes, yep, like, yeah, there are a ton of I can do my Yogi Bear And the truth is we've been waiting to hear from them, but we haven't. There. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click. Wow. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. I mean, I'm, I, oh, wow. It's just, it's just, it's just insane. But then my thing is the household budgets. Your, your, is your household budget the same thing, same way it was a few years ago? No. I mean, I mean, ours is it. Man, it comes down here. Look at the houses or the apartment complex. It's like sixteen hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment down here. Makes no sense, man. Nineteen hundred dollars for a two. Yeah. Twenty three hundred dollars for a three. I don't even. I don't even want to know how much it costs. It's ridiculous, four. man. We have what, yeah. two subdivisions coming up in the behind where we live, and then one up front. They haven't even gave the price for the one up front at all. But the one in the back, four hundred thousand, and and this is how close the houses are. <laughs> you the houses right there, they like that, they like that. This house one, this house two. That's how close they are. Four hundred thousand dollars okay. down the road a little bit. You know, you, know, you, throw, you know, be able to throw the football back there with your kids. You can't do that no more. Must have been one. in the garage, man. You get mm-hmm. the the dad and the son throwing a football in the garage. It's that. It's that. It's, it's, it's that just sad, ridiculous. Man. It's crazy, man. Four hundred thousand dollars for a house that starts at what a three bedroom mm-hmm. or three hundred. I just I don't. How are you gonna? Okay, they did say something about the uh, unemployment rate is down, but again, people can't afford it. Because you gotta okay either think about how much you're gonna pay for the the rent or yeah. gas or yeah. food. It's like people who are on Section Eight or um, what's the other one? Uh, um, what's the other thing? Welfare. Not well, no, not welfare. The uh, what apartment? What the what the uh, income based apartment yeah, are the yeah. only people that are secure. But if they're if they weren't in it months ago, they screwed too. It's ridiculous. Wow. And then, like I said before, they already putting school supplies out and gas that high. You can't even get to the store to get the school supplies, and we gave our list out when school ended. <laughs> hey man, I just, I just, I just, just pump the gas, man. I, I just pump the gas. I don't even yeah, look. Yeah, I look. I just pump. I just fill it up. Whatever. One thing, click. Man. You what know, the- and I it's too hot to be pushing a car. Yeah, it's too hot to be pushing. Or a semi. Car. I'm just it is what it is. So I gotta get some. Gas. He got a dually. I ain't pushing that. He. Mm-mm. That's 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 just crazy. I went to Walmart this morning um, with the grandkids. My daughter bought a car. And um, ran over something on the on the road and burst her tire. She wants a brand new tire, so mom and dad mm. buy the tire. And then on top of that, I already had to go to the grocery store with the grandkids, and um, they all wanted dad on toys. So <laughs> they wanted toys. They wanted toys. Uh, they play with straws and. Uh... Well, anyway, <laughs> I bought some toys and some other little things because one of them like a certain cereal and all the stuff. That's okay, much a hundred dollars. I was like, "What yeah, did I just buy? Man. What did I just buy? It got you. That toy bag. It got you. Or whatever. You know what? Put them, put them cereal bags. Y'all got some. You know what? I be like, y'all got some leftover boxes right, right, right in the stock yeah. room. Got leftover boxes. Because they all keep. They all they want like a little small little right. box to play you with. Got you. you, you know what I'm saying, man? Get a little small box, man. Shoe box. They play with shoe box. And they, they, man, yeah. Shoe box, like, yeah, shoe box. You spent a hundred dollars, but I should, but I probably should have just got the bag cereal. You spent a hundred dollars easy anyway, so I mean, it's it's, it's nothing to you to spend. Oh, then dollars. I had to buy um, then I had to buy toddler spoons. A toddler spoon? Yeah, small spoons for the baby. You know what? You know about cash out, right? 
What? Cash out. You know what the cash out is? Mm -hmm. You should have just sent a, sent a request to my daughter and say, hey, we need this. Cash out oh, me. Gotcha. You figure out how to cash out? No. Everyone use it now. Yeah, we all using cash out. They pay me tomorrow. Who's paying you? Cash out paying you? No, the daughter. They're supposed to be paying oh. you tomorrow. I said pay cash was paying you. I said I didn't know about cash up paying somebody. I said, wow, what if, when they start paying somebody, you know, put I, me I, on to that and okay. the subscribers. All know. right. Okay. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I get paid for my daycare, daycare and duties um, tomorrow. So many people like, oh, you don't want to hear this, but but other than that, man, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, like, subscribe. Uh, just <sighs> comment. Yeah. Like, Comment, subscribe, like, subscribe. You know, um, I, I, I'm just ready for his presidency just to be over at this point. Yeah, really, at the end of the day, man, it's like the whole thing. Every time we do uh, another election, it's like a circus. That's going well, on. don't just don't be fooled into believing do your the research, things. Do your yeah. research, for yeah, real. Do your research, whether you're Republican or oh, Democrat. Democrat. Do, do, do your research, your research man. Mm -hmm. Because we need somebody in the chair that's gonna do the right thing, man. For the because people, you cannot for the Jenny Bike as a leader, aimless, and, and a leader, man. You know, I ain't never seen rudderless. A, I'm back to a gladiator. You ain't never seen a gladiator saying, "What should I do?" You know, well, we go out here and fight. What should we do? <laughs> and other gladiators man, we do, dog. You, 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 Spartacus, man. You know, you supposed to do this thing, man. I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, so at the end of the day, you, you have, have to be a leader, man. He have to go out there. We are Spartans! And, and kick, kick him with the one foot yeah. out the way. Right? We are Spartans! You have you got to kick one of the Democrats down. <laughs> we are Spartans! You know, and, and the gas price should drop immediately. Drop it like it's hot. Go over there. We are Spartans! Kick him with whoever you got to kick. Take these gas prices down, man. That guy, yeah. that dude is paying two hundred dollars. He has white mice putting almost a thousand dollars in him. Thirteen hundred dollars a week. Thirteen hundred dollars a week. We are Spartans. If you got to send Trump over there, brother, send him over there. Wherever you got to send him, well. Lord have mercy. I get Trump now. I'm going to handle this. I got I'm going to make sure I take care of this for you, buddy. Why you sound like a mafia person? <laughs> When mafia tone. I watched too many movies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys have a good one. All right, you too. Much love, baby. Peace.